All right, so in this example, um, this is square root of 25 divided by the square root of 2 plus 3. If you guys remember, whenever we're dealing with dividing and we have radicals, remember we cannot have a radical in our denominator. So what I'm going to want to make sure that I do in this problem is I have to rationalize the denominator. If you guys remember, rationalizing, rationalizing the denominator is multiplying by the conjugate. So we cannot divide by our irrational number. So to simplify this, we're going to multiply by the conjugate. Now, do you guys want me to multiply this out for you, or can I apply the difference of two squares to easily multiply it? Can you, do you guys know what this product is right here? It's a difference of two squares, which hopefully you guys should know is, remember, difference of two squares, your middle terms are going to cancel out, right? Because you have 2 times 2, which is going to equal 4. And then 2 times negative square root of 3 plus 2 times square root of 3, those eliminate each other. So you don't have to worry about the middle terms. So then you're just left with a negative square root of 3 times square root of 3, which is the square root of 3 squared. Right? Square root of 3 times a negative square root of 3 is negative square root of 3 squared. Yes? Do you want me to multiply it out? Yeah. If you guys multiply this out, 2 plus the square root of 3 over 2 minus the square root of 3. If you guys multiply this out, you get 4. 2 times square root of 3. Negative 2 times square root of 3. And then what's the negative square root of 3 times the square root of 3? You guys can say it's just negative 9. I mean, if you want, negative square root of 9. That's fine. All right? So but what I'm telling you guys is when you have, when you the reason why we did 2 minus the square root of 3, because these are difference of two squares. The middle terms cancel out. 2 square root of 3 plus negative 2 square root of 3 add up to 0, right? So they're no longer there. Then I just have 4 minus the square root of 9. Well, what's the square root of 9? 3. Or you can rewrite it. Or instead of just writing 9, you can write square root of 3 squared, which you know that the square root and the square eliminate each other. So therefore, I'm just left with 4 minus 3, which equals 1. Then I need to multiply the numerator. Well, this we're going to apply distributive property. Square root of 5 times 2 is 2, square root of 5. Square root of 5 times 3 is going to be a negative square root of 15. Well, 2 square root of 5 minus um, square root of 15 over 1. Which would be your, just your final answer with that. OK? Any questions? Knowing the difference of two squares and doing this really quickly is going to be very helpful and important for you guys.